Hi, welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena. And I'm Alejandro. Uh, we are bringing you kind of our midweek um, real estate news of El Paso update. We're going to try to keep these nice and short and sweet, but the reason that we're doing this is just so that we can inform our clients and our customers uh, about the market so that, that you just know what's going on in real estate in El Paso. If you're looking to buy, sell, invest, by all means, please consider reaching out to us. But what we're going to talk about for this week is low inventory. So last week we talked about rising interest rates. We talked about how rising interest rates are going to rise. They're still in the kind of low threes, but they're expected to climb up to four and above by the end of the year. We talked about what kind of effect this will have on buyers purchasing power and uh, the seller's market. This week, we want to talk about inventory because right now we are in a severe housing inventory essentially. So if you take a look at the slide on your screen, you will see that housing inventory uh, is lower than last year. So just from December 20 uh, to 21, basically we had uh, on a national average almost 27% less homes okay that means that i mean in a nutshell if there were four houses last year this year there were three houses right so it's a significant decline in inventory you can see that in the state of texas alone inventory is down 23 percent and so alejandro is going to talk a little bit just about our specific inventory in uh, el paso so uh, as you can see here in the graph, we're going to start from February of 2020. That was right after the uh, COVID started hitting and impacting all the, the markets pretty much. So February of 2020, we had 3,050 active listings right here in El Paso. Now, if we move a year after that, which was uh, February of 2021, we had 2,127 homes. That's pretty much almost a thousand homes less. Now, if you check uh, January of this year, we had 1,231 homes. Now, out of those 1,231 homes, I'll say probably a quarter of them or so are going to be new construction. And new construction meaning that they're not ready uh, to move in. Most of these new constructions are going to be between 8 months to 12 months of waiting. So it's even you know a shorter inventory that the numbers actually uh, represent in here. Yeah, absolutely. And so... I mean, that's a pretty drastic change. Two years ago, 3,000 active listings, you know, so you had a lot of choices, right? The seller's market hadn't really gone into warp mode yet. Um, it was still a pretty balanced market because there were enough homes, enough inventory for all the buyers to find what they're looking for. Then last year, 2,000 homes. Well, it makes sense that we transitioned to a seller's market because now there are less homes but there were even more buyers going after them. Interest rates were at an all-time low. And now this year, we find ourselves in the unenviable position of being a thousand homes on the market. And again, like Alejandro said, a ton of those are not going to be completed for another eight to 12 months. So there might only be right now, uh, you know, six, 700 homes for sale. However, there are tons of buyers out there, you know, scrapping and battling it out over them. Um, Alejandro knows this for sure because he's been working with our buyer clients and when they uh, ask to see homes, he's the one who's going out to, and making videos. Normally, we are very, very, very busy making videos every day. Right now, I mean, how many do you, are you going to make today? Uh, two, hopefully three if I can find some more. But yeah, it's been uh, unfortunately very, very slow. Like I said, there's just not a lot of homes, unfortunately, uh, uh, on the market right now. Absolutely. And so this is what low inventory looks like. Now, some of this is seasonal. You know, we're in February of 2022. Winter is always the slowest time of the year, especially in, in areas further north where it's cold. There aren't a lot of people selling their houses because this is an unpleasant time to, to list your home. That doesn't affect us so much here in El Paso weather-wise, but you know we are in a seasonal low point as far as inventory, as far as real estate. We do expect that spring, summer, this, this will, will you know, we'll get better. So we just wanted though to, to kind of reach out there. If you're thinking about moving to El Paso, if you're thinking and looking actively for a home to buy in El Paso, chances are you're not seeing a ton out there and it's temporary. It's gonna get better. 
hang in there. We know that a lot of you are freaking out a little bit about those rising interest rates, which is smart on your part. So, you know, you, the lower the interest rate, the less money you, you, you pay over time, the more house you can buy. But if you're in the market for a home in El Paso right now, hang in there. It's, it's pretty low inventory, but it's going to get better. So um, with that, I think we'll um, say goodbye. Thank you.